What's up, Space Pirates? This is your captain, the Dread Pirate Doctor Disaster, and I'd like to start this video off with a disclaimer. This video will feature depictions of K-Vess in Star Wars Outlaws, so if you don't have a strong stomach for ugliness, you may not want to be eating anything while you watch this. That shit is gross! But anyways, what's a good way to tell that a product isn't selling well? Star Wars Outlaws is a prime example of it. The game is still in pre-order mode, and they are giving shit away with it. That suggests that pre-order numbers are not very good. I'm ruined. I have nothing left. What am I talking about? Well, right now, they are advertising that if you pre-order Star Wars Outlaws on Best Buy's website, they will give you a $10 gift card, considering the extremely low margins that retailers have with video games, that $10 represents virtually their entire profit margin. This tells us plenty about the state of pre-orders for Star Wars Outlaws. They are so desperate to push this Ubisoft soft turd out the door, and somewhere out there, somebody is chuckling about the absolute state of this game. Can you guess who it is? Well, of course I know him. He's me. <laughs> good, good one. Alright me hearties, make sure you like this video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet. We just broke through another subscriber milestone, so it's time to ask the obligatory question. How many assholes we got on this ship anyhow? Yo! The answer to that question is 53,000. We now have 53,000 a-hole space pirates rocking around in this fleet, and it's customary on this channel that with every thousand subscribers, we add a new ship to the fleet for the newcomers to live in. Somebody pointed out the other day in the comment section that I hadn't added the mothership from Independence Day yet, which is weird because I love that movie, so that's what we're adding, and that's what you see right here. In any event, thanks to everyone for being here. I knew it, I'm surrounded by assholes. But getting back to it, there appears to be trouble in paradise for Ubisoft and Star Wars Outlaws. The pre-order numbers can't be good if they are giving away a $10 gift card to entice you to buy it. I know people who work for retail chain stores where they order games like this on the regular, and one of them sent me this image, which is from the order screen of their distributor's website. As you can see, this game costs just under 60 bucks for wholesale cost. Now, this is a smaller retailer, much smaller than Best Buy, so I'm willing to bet that the price that Best Buy gets is going to be at least a little bit better than this smaller retailer, due to the fact that they order in such large volumes. Chances are, though, that their cost is something closer to $59, so once again, they are wiping out just about their entire profit margin just to get rid of this game when they give out $10 gift cards, and there's only one reason to do that. The game isn't selling well. They want to offload as many copies as possible because otherwise, eventually, Star Wars Outlaws will be like all of the other Ubisoft titles recently, and within a year, this thing will be selling for less than 30 bucks. Skull and Bones, as an example, is going for $24 on Steam right now, and that game is only half a year old. Hell, Best Buy themselves were selling Skull and Bones for $10 earlier this month. So yeah, Best Buy has seen enough. Their hope 
clearly is to avoid taking a loss on all the extra copies of the game that haven't been selling. They are willing to basically break even so long as they aren't stuck with untold thousands in their inventory that they have to liquidate for $20 by the spring. And this isn't the only example out there telling us that this game isn't doing well with pre-orders. Take a look at this tweet from Twitter user Stuttering Craig. Now I grant you that this is anecdotal second-hand evidence, but it's still something that I find interesting and very plausible. Stuttering Craig writes, I have an insider who works for high traffic game stores in one of the most populated places in the US. They have 27 stores in that area and there have been a total of 41 pre-orders for Star Wars Outlaws. 41, there is no hype for this game. Now, I asked my buddy that works for one of these retail chains, he oversees nine stores, and I asked him what the pre-orders were like for Star Wars Outlaws there, and I'm being told that across those nine stores, they have had 17 pre-orders of Star Wars Outlaws, and they have dialed back on the number of copies that they ordered in total because they are anticipating a drop. Skull and Bones really scared them off from Ubisoft and their quadruple A titles. And who can blame them? When was the last time that Ubisoft had a really big game? Considering how low the margins are for these retailers, they have to sell the vast majority of the product before the game drops in value or else they lose their ass. But yeah, 17 is not a lot of pre-orders. They are averaging about two pre-orders per store. That is a microscopic number of people that are actually hyped about this game enough to pre-order. And it looks like that was a good call. One of the benefits of pre-ordering the Gold Edition of Star Wars Outlaws was the chance to play it three days early, but we're hearing that some of the bugs in the game that have been popping up required an emergency patch, and it sounds like a bunch of people are being forced to lose their save files. Imagine spending $110 on a game to play it three days early, and then after one frustrating day of buggy play, you lose your save file and you have to start over. That would piss me off to no end, to say the least. So keep that in mind, folks. You should never pre-order anyhow, and especially not something from Ubisoft. Their games are sloppy and awful and always get marked down within a year of their release, and to top it off, they tell you outright that you should get comfortable not owning the game anyhow. Based on what we're seeing with Best Buy and these other retailers, it looks like a lot of people know that by now. The fact that all of the trailers for this game were ratioed into oblivion was a massive clue that the worm was turning on Ubisoft, that the public sentiment against this company has reached a fever pitch. I think they are cooked with this game. But I'm going to leave it there. Make sure to mock Star Wars Outlaws in the comment section below, and we will talk there. Thanks for watching, me hearties. If you haven't already, your captain is inviting you to subscribe to the channel and become a part of the crew. Life as a space pirate may not be glamorous, but there's always plenty of booty.